Hello, welcome to a really interesting problem. Um, this is very familiar to a lot of people and um, this is a problem in an in, in, in elastic collision and there is a, a term here, term here coefficient of restitution. So you need to know the definition of that uh, in order to proceed. So coefficient of restitution um, I'm going to use a symbol rho for it. What this is is a ratio of relative velocity um, say after a collision um, divided by relative velocity before a collision and this relative velocity is uh, um, in the direction uh, perpendicular to the surface of contact so <clears throat> uh, if you if you are uh, let's say there is a ball here and you can there is a surface here uh, it's not moving so this is v is a zero uh, and then a ball comes in at this time the relative velocity is the say v in and after that the ball leaves the surface with some v out uh, of course they're going in different direction the ratio of these two uh, here's the surface so both of the direction of perpendicular so perpendicular is fine um, so v in relative is because this is zero it just v in itself so the the two things relative is uh, ball ball relative to this surface the second comes so the ball is a system one and this system is two so that's what we mean by relative here uh, v of 1 relative to 2. If we have uh, two balls, then we have to have velocity of 1 minus velocity of 2. Okay. So that's the, in our case, uh, this is the situation. And in that situation, it's very simple. So in that situation, it just simply v out the speed or v in the speed so and these are just speeds ratio of the speeds okay let's uh, with that definition we can now do the problem uh, it's a one dimensional motion so the problem will be um, let's in a we will just draw a little figure uh, to guide our th thinking process so here is a, um, it says the ball comes and hits, and this is height h0, and so it came in with some, we just call it here is v0, and this v was here 0. And so th this, uh, and then the ball bounces off with some v1. So Kof's restitution is this v1 over v0, right? Uh, but the data is given in the heights. So it bounces bounce to a height h0 only, h1 only. So if you know the dynamics, the gravity is g this way, uh, then this relation of v0 to h is uh, v0 is square root of uh, 2gh. v0 is speed here, not initial velocity. It's don't confuse not initial i just using v0 for the final velocity that symbol and v1 is the first bounce up okay so that's the formula is going to be uh, when i look at this part when i look at this part it will be very similar formula v1 will be square root of 2g h1 and now we can use this and see if 
we make a headway 2g h1 over square root of 2g h0 of course 2g is cancelled out the square root of h1 over h0 and so square root of h1 over h0 is given as 0 0.81 and this is 0 0.9 so that's the answer for for a okay um the second one is pretty interesting after how long will the ball come to rest that's typically how this problem is uh, worded but actually it doesn't make sense because uh, when the ball hits here before it coming back up momentarily it's at rest okay and similarly when the ball goes out here and when it comes back over here is momentarily at rest so we're not talking about momentarily at rest we're talking about uh, and stay on the table so it's like it's bounce 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 uh, so what we mean by B is this thing uh, comes down goes up come uh, and then comes down then goes up again comes down goes up again comes down so it does whole bunch of times and we need to add up the times for each of this so if this is t0 and the second one is t1 uh, first bounce up time t1 and then time t2 and t3 and so we we need to add this up and see what it looks like so the first uh, so t net should turn out to be t0 plus t1 plus t2 plus t3 and there should be a series which goes on at infinitum right so t0 is uh, over here where velocity was 0 and this was at v0 right uh, and we already said v0 is this this thing so this will be uh, v0 over g t1 will be uh, it bounces up with v1 uh, and then comes back with a v1 so this is 2 times v1 over g this will be 2 times v2 over g plus 2 times v3 over g like that make sense okay uh, let's see um, all of these terms okay so if you take any of these terms the way uh, the restitution will work is uh, the restitution will say that v1 is uh, rho v0 v2 is rho v1 which will make this rho times rho times v0 is rho square v0 so you can see that we will be able to write everything in terms of uh, this will be rho times rho square v0 is rho q v0 so there you can see all this thing coming up uh, v1 has one row factor of v0 v2 has two row factor v0 v3 is three v factor v so is v0 over g plus 2 over g one factor v0 plus 2 over uh, g rho square v0 2 over g rho q v0 and so on and so forth uh, but these guys have all two so i will do a little trick here to simplify my problem put a two and then i subtract v0 over g from it so just so that i can try to sum these guys okay so i got minus v0 over g plus 2 v0 over g that's common to everything and here 1 plus rho plus rho square plus you, you know this is a geometric series and whose uh, answer is uh, already known uh, and it's going to be 1 over 1 minus rho uh, so writing this over here you can say v0 over g is h so this h0 this minus 1 plus 2 over 1 minus rho 
and you can simplify as minus 1 plus rho plus 2 1 minus rho h0 and h0 this just times 1 plus rho over 1 minus rho so h0 1 plus rho is going to be 1.9 and this is going to be 0 0.1 and so this 19 times h0 uh, so um, let's see I got something uh, this is t0 oh this is t0 not h0 t0 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 so uh, and t0 is just v0 over g so 19 v0 over g and v0 uh, we found to be square root 2 gh so 19 square root 2 gh0 over g so 19 square root of 2h0 over g so that's the answer for the total time to take uh, h0 value is not given to us so we can just leave this problem answer as that okay um, the last one is how much distance the ball will travel means some of all the distances these distances right so uh, c it's a very similar To B and that's going to be like a distance net first will be at 0 then the height will be 2 times the height 2 times h1 plus 2 times h2 plus 2 times h3 like that right and you can have h0 oh, h1 will be just like over here h1 will be from here we can get uh, v1 square over 2 gh so 2 v1 square over uh, 2 g uh, plus uh, 2 v2 square over 2 g plus 2 v3 square over 2 g so this 2 g is uh, kind of 2 cancels out and again we uh, you can use these guys uh, to I'm going to leave this as a exercise for you uh, to do so now you can do uh, again become geometric series and it's going to look like uh, 1 plus rho square plus rho to the power 4 plus rho to the power 6 plus like this and so this will be replaced by 1 minus rho square and then uh, then simplify I'm not going to complete this problem because I think it's very similar to this. The idea is, as you, this is the idea behind it, and once you implement the idea, you should get the answer. Okay, so just recap uh, the what we did here. First thing is we really uh, sometimes you really have to know the definition, and without knowing the definition, you can't make any. Uh, progress okay so this whole thing is about this so uh, coefficient restitution is only deal with uh, uh, if two two things are colliding then uh, perpendicular to the collision surface the uh, the relative velocity ratio before the after the collision divided by before the collision and this is very simple here um, and then we uh, we learned here that uh, uh, that sometimes very interesting geometric series like this show up, and we need to know the answer to that. And uh, so geometric series. Uh, so here is a. Uh, so this is like an R. So when you look in the math book, you will be like. 1 plus r plus r square plus 
r uh, to the power q plus so on and so forth and this will be 1 over 1 minus r for r less than 1 right so it will convert for r less than 1 but it will not convert for r less than 1 and restitution is less than 1 uh, and so all of these terms will be rho squared will be less than 1 and rho is less than 1 so this we can use the geometric series so this is another thing that you needed to know to solve this problem of course the third thing you needed to know was one dimensional uh, uh, motion or gravity okay so that uh, you have to go back to very early chapters of mechanics to uh, uh, brush up brush up on that um, uh, and some of this I assumed you all are very good at it so I, I didn't want to go more detail on that uh, next we're gonna uh, do um, actually another problem where um, ball will bounce but not vertically up what if I just uh, toss the ball that had hit the ground at an angle and the question is what happens then we'll do that video uh, that problem in another video so we'll talk to you later bye